Hi, today we're going to teach you how to update some of the ancillary boards for Wattmasters VCC X2. Some of those boards include the RSMD, the modulating hot gas reheat, and the mod gas board. Today we're going to focus on updating the RSMD board. A few things to note before going to update is you want to go on the board and hit the menu button until you get to the board name, which is RSMD. So you can see this, RS, this SS number, which is 1067. Once you have that, you know the SS version. Now if we hit check mark a few times, we will get to the unit address, which is 152. Now that we have that information, along with our USB to eBus adapter plugged in, current part number ASM01979, we are able to go to our laptop to begin the updating process to update. We'll go to Aon.com. Once there, you'll hit the navigation bar on the left. We'll left click. We'll go to resources and left click again. Then we go to controls tech support and we will left click there as well. Now that we're on this site, we need to download the hex files. We can do that by going to Prism 2 software, updates and new installs. And where it says Prism 2 hex files, update version is currently 227, 2024. We will just left click. You'll see it downloads rather quickly. This download will actually download all of the hex files they currently have available, so we will have more access than just the RSMD we are looking for. Now that we've downloaded the files, we're going to left click on our file explorer, go to downloads, and you'll see, you'll see our Prism 2 hex files here. We want to right click and extract these files since they're currently compressed. When we extract them, we do want to extract them to a specific destination, so we want to hit Browse, go to our C drive, go to Prism 2. We're going to create a folder by right clicking New and then left clicking on Folder. We're going to name this folder Hex Files. And then we're going to double click on Hex Files. You'll see there's nothing in it. We're going to select that folder. Now we're going to hit Extract. Now all of the files, Hex Files, have been extracted to our hex files folder, which is in our PRISM2 software. Again, I had mentioned about making sure you know what HS version you have. As you can see, there are multiple RSMDs, but there's only one RSMD that is an SS1067. Now that we have our file, we're going to head over to PRISM. We're going to open the application, log in using credentials admin admin, which can be found in the user manual. Once we do that, you see in the lower right hand corner, it says we now have administrator access. Now we'll left click on communications, hover over flash selected controller and left click on manual flashing. Now that we're here, the first thing we want to do is select the software we're going to use. There's a box with three uh, dashes in it. If you left click on that box, it'll open a file directory. Again, we know our file is under our C drive, under Prism. We created the hex files folder. Now we need to find the RSMD for 1067. We're going to open that file and it puts that destination there. Now that we're here, there's just a few more steps. First, we're going to left click on connections, make sure it's set for direct. We already know we have our correct file. Now we just need to left click reset eBus and then left click program hex file. You'll see it goes from resetting controller to erasing old program. And in a few seconds, you will see it start sending the files into the controller. If by some chance it pauses and does not work and takes longer than, let's say, a minute, go ahead and hit cancel flash. In this case, it's taking the file. It's taking it rather quickly. I do want to point out that I've seen this take anywhere from 1 to 12 minutes uh, during previous updates. As you can see, this file is showing as completed and it took a minute and 12 seconds. So now we're done. The RSMD board has been updated to the latest version. We can go ahead and exit the file. We're also going to go ahead and close Prism in this scenario. And I'm going to take you back to Aon.com to show you where you can find step-by-step -step instructions for exactly what I just did. So if you go to Aon.com, if we left click on the navigation bar, if we left click on resources, we go back to controls tech support, which is exactly where we got the hex files from. If you scroll down, you'll see where it says updating the eBus module software. And down here, this blue hyperlink 
labeled how to update the eBus module with Prism 2 using eBus to USB mini adapter board. If you just left click on that, it'll open a PDF that gives you step-by-step -step instructions with exactly what I just showed you to do. A few things to really pay attention to. Make sure you know the address of the device you're using. Be sure you know what your SS number is so that you can be certain that you're pulling the correct file. I hope you found this video helpful. If there's any other questions, feel free to reach out to us through insightusa.com. Thank you and have a great day.